the Healthy Christian Women Podcast. Brought to you by Fit Plus Faith, the podcast for Christian women to grow healthier in their mind, body, and spirit. Jumpstart your health with your complimentary mind, body, and spirit detox checklist at healthychristianwomen.com slash detox. That's healthychristianwomen.com forward slash detox. Here's your host, Dr. Melody Stevens. Hello and welcome to the Healthy Christian Women Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Melody Stevens with Fit Plus Faith, and welcome to episode 12. In this episode, we're talking about not your average weight loss plan. You know, I've been recently brought to my attention that some people are not fully ready to bring God into their health journey. And you know, many years ago, I remember doing a poll of all different people, um, specifically women, but in all different walks in their health journey and asking them, where do you feel God belongs in your health journey? And do you even think that, you know, that they're appropriate to be together? And I was so surprised by the responses that so many people answered that they never even, it didn't even cross their mind to have God be a part of it let alone how much part of it should he have. And so that was just a big wake-up call to me. I was like, huh, this way of looking at your health journey as a Christian and bringing God alongside you is more of a, of a radical idea. It's, it's more than what people are ready for or even used to. It's literally not even thinking that 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 even should go together because ultimately our health is not a salvation issue. And I've mentioned this in previous podcasts already that I think it's because our health is not something that's going to deny us from eternal salvation and from living in eternity with God, regardless of what our body looks like and what condition our health is in. (laughs) Because in the end, right, as our body fails us, as we grow older, in the end, we are all going to come to a place where, where the body just cannot go on anymore. And so oftentimes that ends up meaning that there are, um, there's just different, um, aging processes and sometimes, you know, different diseases or neurologic conditions or something that, that are in play. So, you know, at some point that is going to happen and that's just the way that life is. And luckily as Christians, we can have our hope knowing that this was never our full home, that we are headed to a place that has no more tears and no more sadness and no more um, trials in that way. We are headed to a place that is living with God in new bodies, whatever that may look like. (laughs) It'll just be a lot of unknowns that we're not sure, but we know that we will be reunited with those that have gone before and that we will be living in a place where uh, things are very different. And uh, these bodies, you know, will no longer uh, fail us. And so since our health is not a salvation issue like that, then I think a lot of times people don't even think of having God come alongside on the health journey. And I know that I've been there in the past as well, thinking that this is something I need to do on my own. And ultimately, what were my true desires and motivation there? And really exploring those and finding that there was a lot of selfishness there. There was a lot of pride there that, no, I didn't necessarily want to look like a bikini model and I I don't feel comfortable uh, flaunting, you know, my body, like for all to see, regardless of what it looks like. Um, even if I was in, you know, the fitness model, um, style body underneath my clothes, I just, I don't feel comfortable with that. I feel like our bodies, um, there needs to be some modesty there and our bodies were meant to, uh, just to serve God and to be healthy. And ultimately when it comes to, showing your skin, um, or those different types of things. I feel like that is something that is meant to be between you and your husband, you know? And so, um, I've never fully felt comfortable like that, no matter what my body looks like. But 
having God come alongside during the health journey was not something I initially planned to do. And it wasn't until, gosh, when exactly was it even? I think it wasn't until I really realized that there's more going on below the surface. There's more going on in my soul, in my heart, that is not going to be fixed or remedied with just changing my physical appearance and with solely focusing on changing the physical body. That felt hollow and it felt like I knew that there was deeper things that needed to be addressed. And so then when I began just looking into and finding other people that were bringing God into their health journey. And when I began to see the need to help people bring God into their health journey, because I saw that what was going on physically, there was so much more as to the reason why they were turning to food or the reason why we were not treating our bodies well or allowing them to sink into just decay and just not being taken care of, there was emotional issues going on there. There was some mindset issues going on, things that need to be addressed on a deeper level that need God's intervention. So I think as I began to see that need and experience that need in my own life, then it's like, well, my goodness, God must be a part of our health journey. And as we look through the scriptures and we see what it tells us about having a strong body, But in the end, also telling us that, no, the physical body is only good for a certain time. We need to deal with the deeper issues, with the heart issues. And so what I began to realize, what it brought to my attention recently, was that a lot of people may not be ready for this level of changing their health. It depends on your relationship with God. It depends on how comfortable you are bringing God in to all aspects of your life, areas that you may not have even thought to or areas that you may have been purposely avoiding or hiding from God that ultimately are working deep down of that need that need to be addressed, that need to be brought to the surface. And so as we begin exploring that, I've really come to just realize everyone is at a different place in their faith walk with God and at a different place in their health journey. And hopefully, and we can pray that eventually people will come to realize more and more that just trying to deal with just the physical and however many programs you try and however many things that I can advise you to do, that that is still not truly going to be the full answer that coming to that realization sooner rather than later and being brave enough, courageous enough, bold enough, stepping forward in faith and with trust that I'm going to begin letting God be a deeper part of my life. I'm going to actually open up this part of my life to him to begin to reveal to me the things that need to be taken care of, the things that need to be dealt with, the areas that I may need to grow in my faith and in my trust and ultimately in my relationship with him. So when I titled this Not Your Average Weight Loss Plan, it's because it's not. And what I'm realizing is I can give you all of the tips and tricks and exercise plans and meal plans. It's like I can give you everything that will work, even though there's so many different pathways out there that have their pros and cons. And of course, I have my preferences. However, at the same time, I know that there are many different things that are going to work. And actually, research is beginning to show that it doesn't matter necessarily what path you end up taking. It's that you stay consistent to it and they all do have their benefits in one way or another. So that's why I don't necessarily try to push certain products and I don't necessarily try to be very rigid because we are all different and unique and we have different tastes and different preferences and different likes and different lifestyles and different things that there is not a cookie cutter process. So I can give you guidelines 
But in the end, it's you discovering who you are, discovering what is going to work for you, and and assisting you on your journey, opening up that part of yourself to God and beginning to have him be the one to lead you and to guide you and to open up your heart to the areas that need more of him that are stemming from the reasons why we have developed certain habits and certain patterns. There's always something deeper connected there that needs to be looked at and examined and healed and submitted and surrendered and repented and forgived. There's so many different layers that is that lead into our health. That's why I cannot and I don't feel comfortable only giving people a cookie cutter plan to help you with your health and with your weight loss journey because I know that that's not taking care of the full picture, the real problems, the deeper areas that need God and that need us to grow. So it's beautiful to me that the desire to make changes in your health actually opens you up to a deeper spiritual journey that you get to go on, that is a privilege to go on because it helps you grow with your relationship with God. That is his ultimate desire for us, is just to be in relationship with us and to have us grow in him to where we trust him with our lives. We trust him with our decisions. We trust him with everything. And that doesn't happen overnight. That happens with time and with abiding and with prayer and with digging into the word and learning and growing and being willing to open your heart, being willing to open your mind to what he's going to show you, to where he might convict you. And that can be uncomfortable and we don't like that. That's why if, if it was easy, no one would struggle with this. If it was easy, I wouldn't even be talking about this. I wouldn't even be having a platform helping people with their health because it would be easy and everyone would have it solved. But that's not the case. We learn, we get to look at our health as an opportunity to grow in what is going to be more beneficial, more rewarding, more gratifying and satisfying as we ultimately go through that transformation journey spiritually as well as physically, letting God in and making the lasting changes. If you want to finally stop yo-yoing up and down in your weight, if you want to finally stop feeling frustrated that no diet plan out there is ever going to work for you, then honey, there's a different deeper thing going on that is crying out to be addressed. So opening yourself to that and asking yourself, am I letting God help me with this? Have I even considered it? Maybe I've convinced myself that he doesn't really need to be that involved or he doesn't even care to be that involved in my life. There's bigger issues that he needs to deal with in the world. My issues are so small and minute. My goodness, I should deal with them already on my own. What's wrong with me? Why am I struggling with this? I shouldn't need God's help with this. I should be able to do it in my own strength and in my own power. But when you begin to realize that those things are not working, And my goodness, we shouldn't wait until we have to be in desperation on our knees crying out to him for help, but sometimes that's what it takes. But if we can get to there sooner rather than later, realizing things aren't working, the common denominator here is me. It's not all the diet plans. It's not all the workout fixes. It's not all these different things. The common denominator is me. There must be something else going on inside of me on a deeper level that will not be changed until I change my mindset, I open up my heart, and I ask God to come in to help me. What I think is so beautiful is in these morning devotionals that we've been doing in my Facebook group, 
And if you're not yet a part of that, I fully recommend you come and be a part of us. We're an international online Facebook group of women going through their health journey at all different phases and stages, but going through their health journey as a jumping off point of actually going through their spiritual journey. And it's called Healthy Christian Women, and you can find it on Facebook. Would love to have you be a part of it. But what's been so amazing is in these morning devotionals that we've been doing, it has been bringing up so many topics, so many areas where we're realizing we cannot do this without God's help. And as women begin to realize that I've never invited God into my health journey before, I'm going to do it differently this time. And as they begin to do this and the Holy Spirit begins revealing to them where they have been turning to food instead of God, where they have been trying to be self-sufficient instead of reliant on the creator, which is what he asks us to do. As we grow in that, then the things start changing. Then we get to realize, oh my goodness, I need God. If I want true freedom from this, if I want true breakings of the bondages that I have been held into for years and decades, if I finally want the fix that is going to change it all, It is only going to happen by allowing God to come in and by letting the spirit begin to change you in the areas that he knows need to be changed. And they're different for all of us, but it starts with inviting him in and realizing I was never meant to do this on my own. That's why nothing has fully worked for me. That's why I've had success to a point and then I've gone backwards because the deeper things We're not having God be a part of the equation, which he is the one that brings transformation. And I love that in church, we've been going through the book of Galatians. And just this past week, they were talking about living a life led by the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit walking in step with him, being guided and led by him. In your, in your decisions, in your daily movements, in everything that you do, and I mean everything that you do, going down to grocery shopping and to exercising and, and asking him to be a part of the little things, then you will, you will hear these answers in your heart. You will get the inspiration and the ideas in your mind. That's the Holy Spirit beginning to speak to you, and you will begin to understand that voice, not necessarily an audible voice, but you'll begin to understand what that feels like as you grow in your intimacy with your relationship, with hearing the sweet, soft whisper of God's voice guiding you as you ask. You're just asking for help and guidance, and then he will tell you. And then you have the choice now, do I obey and do I listen? And do I go with that, even though I may not fully understand it, even though I'm sometimes not even sure that I'm hearing the right thing, but will I move forward in faith and trust, knowing that it's part of the process and the only way for me to grow is to begin to be a part of it? And then it will grow and grow and grow until it's so strong that it will be undeniable. And then you know for fact, yes, when I ask God and then he gives me the answer, I know that that's him. I'm not making it up in my head. I know that that's him. And I say yes. And when I say yes, that's when things really begin to change and move because we can hear from God or we can even know what is right to do. We can read the word and know it, but it doesn't mean that we actually act upon it and that we actually change from it because we haven't implemented it yet. So it's still the another step of getting the answer and then taking action on it so that the transformation process can begin to take place. And so at church, we've been going through the book of Galatians and this past Sunday, it was just so impactful and powerful going through Galatians chapter five, verses 16 and 17 specifically. 
And it's talking about, it says, so I say, live by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature for the sinful nature desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit, what is contrary to the sinful nature. They are in conflict with one another so that you do not do what you want. And so, and that's the NIV version. So you can look that up in different versions and different translations and really understand the meaning of what is happening here, being led by the Holy Spirit. When you are opening your life up to be led by God in that way, then you cannot follow the things of our flesh. You cannot follow the things of the sinful nature. And When you are doing one and they are contrary to the other, you cannot do both at the same time. And this was so eye-opening to me because I thought, well, how beautiful. So that when I focus more and more of my time and attention on God, being led by the Holy Spirit, if I am constantly redirecting myself in a training process in the beginning, it takes more effort in the beginning until you develop it into a habit and it becomes more natural. So you have to stick with it, but that builds perseverance, doesn't it? That builds discipline, doesn't it? And that is why when we do that, we will then be able to reap the fruits of the spirit, which is talked about later in chapter five. But the fruit of the spirit, verse 22, is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. If you feel like you are lacking in self-control, if you feel like you are lacking in peace, in joy, then you are missing the fruits of the Spirit. The only way to get them then is to abide further in the Holy Spirit. And this fully applies to your health because how many decisions do you end up making out of a place of not peace, a place of discontent, of discord? I know I do. When I am in anxiety, when I have anxiousness, procrastination, worry, doubt, This is when I sabotage my health. This is when I want physical food to give me a little bit of comfort because I feel anxious on the inside. That is not me walking in the spirit. That is not me being led by the spirit. Because if I was, I would then have peace. And when I have peace, I don't have the desire to sabotage my health with unhealthy foods and with lethargy and sloth, right? Or I'm just not doing anything. I'm not moving my body. I'm not being physically active. I just want to be a lump on the couch. And so it brought to my attention, well, oh my goodness, if the Holy Spirit is contrary to the flesh, contrary to the sinful nature, then they both cannot happen at the same time. So what does this tell me on my health journey? That If I spend more time and any time I feel tempted, any time I feel where the flesh is beginning to take over and I know it's about to sabotage my health, I know it's about to make me make choices that are not good for me, that are not healthy for me, that I return then back to the Holy Spirit. I return then asking for help, asking for guidance putting my mind and my thoughts and my attention on God and on his word, asking the Holy Spirit to intervene and to show me and to give me the way out of the temptation. The word promises us that the Holy Spirit will always give us a way out so that we can endure, so that we do not have to sabotage ourselves in our temptation, whatever the temptation may be. And so what a beautiful thing to think well The answer then to having a very not average weight loss plan is to begin to submit to God, to begin to turn my health and my life and my decisions over to him to be led by the spirit so that the simple nature, the flesh, the flesh desires, the selfishness does not take over. So it's a very different approach. And when I was disheartened, you know, as people will come into my community and then a few people, it won't be right for them and then they'll leave and then I feel sad. I really, I was encouraged by other women, which I was so, so grateful and thankful for. And it was so beautiful, but just the awareness that it's okay that this approach is not yet right for everyone. 
because they're not at that place yet where they're ready for this level of deep transformation that can only be done by God. And I need to be okay with that. This message is not for everyone. I need to be okay with that, that God is bringing people on their path in different ways at different times. And when it is right, when he knows that they are ready for this deeper level in their walk, in their physical walk and in their spiritual walk, when that happens, then they will be ready for the deeper transformation. But sometimes people just aren't ready. And I need to be okay with that as well, because there was a time where I wouldn't have been ready. But opening our eyes to it and realizing this is not for the faint of heart. This is not a quick fix. (laughs) This is definitely not a quick fix. This is me beginning to give you ideas of how to begin to help your health, but it is opening yourself up to God's leading and to the transformation. And transformation is not always pain-free. In order to be refined, in order to transform, there can, there's a process that happens and oftentimes an uncomfortable or even painful process. As we heal, as we grow, as we stretch in our faith and in what it takes to care for our health, in the discipline that it takes to actually make it happen. So this may not be for everyone, but if it, if it is for you, if you know that I need something different, my goodness, I have never thought to bring God into my health journey. I thought that it was too insignificant. I thought that I was too insignificant. That is not the case. God is ready and waiting For you to open yourself up and say, God, I need you in this. If I ever want this to finally be different, if I ever want to fully break these chains, if I ever want to fully be out of bondage, that is only going to happen through your intervention and through your help. And God is just waiting for us to turn our lives over to him more and more so that he can show his power, so that he can show his goodness his grace and his mercy and his forgiveness. But it is in our selfishness, in our self-sufficiency, in our pride that we do not let our creator be a part of the process. He loves you so much. He wants to see you thrive. He wants to see you be effective. He wants to see his children living in the fullness that he offers But so often we don't allow ourselves to go there because we leave him out of the equation. So this is not your average weight loss plan. This is not for the faint of heart, but this is for you when you want real transformation. Transformation that comes from the inside out. Transformation that will be lasting. Transformation that nothing else can compare to the journey that you're going to go on. Nothing else will bring you the freedom and the peace and the joy of making it through the transformation process with God. So beautiful. I hope that this encourages you today. I hope that this opens up your eyes a little bit, that you will be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, that your heart will be softened, ready to receive a new perspective, a new way a new life, one that is living with God at the helm in full submission to him, knowing that I can overcome the desires of my flesh. I can overcome my sinful nature when I focus on God. And when I bring him into every area to transform every area of my heart and of my life. And our body is a part of that process but we can't only focus on the body or we're missing the huge pieces that are longing to be filled and mended by God. If this is something that you've never done, inviting and asking God to come be a part of your health journey, then I invite you to do that with me right now. Just repeat after me in this simple prayer. 
Dear Lord, thank you for my health. Thank you for this body that you've created and given specifically to me. Help me in my health journey. Please come alongside me and help me break the chains of bondage that I've been under. I desire to give you my body so that I can be strong and able to do what you have for me in the world. I love you and I thank you for your never ending love for me. In Jesus name. Amen. So beautiful. Have a wonderful rest of your day. This is Dr. Melody with Fit Plus Faith. Bye. Thanks for listening. Remember to subscribe and join me next week for the next episode of the Healthy Christian Women Podcast. Inspiring Christian women to live healthier in their mind, body, and spirit. One day at a time. Grab your complimentary mind, body, and spirit detox checklist at healthychristianwomen.com slash detox. That's healthychristianwomen.com forward slash detox. detox.